Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Bros. U. In the last part, we started on World 4. Yeah, that's what we did. And in this part, we will be probably finishing World 4. Frosted Glacier, yes, that's the name of the world. Because these this game has names of the worlds, obviously. And we're starting off with this ghost house here. This is actually the first true ghost house, I guess. Like an actual house that we've seen so far. Uh, we, we've seen like a ghost ship, which is technically like a ghost house type level, and I suck. Wow. Who was really in the way? Get in there, because that's where the star coin is. Yeah, those coins are blocking off your path if you don't have the peace switch. So then you need to go press it again if you miss it again. So yeah. Also, I probably should have waited a little bit to hit it, but eh. You just have to run through here because I'm pretty sure this door is fake, and I'm pretty sure that door is fake, or you don't want to go in it. Don't you want to go in up here? No? Okay, I guess you just need to go in here. But this ghost house, many people can uh, think it to be like, or many people think that it's like one of the hardest ghost houses ever, like, or like probably the hardest level in this game, or most confusing. And for this game, which is actually a really easy game, like I've said before, it's not actually that hard. It can be kind of confusing on your first run through if you don't know what to do to get all the star coins and stuff. But once you get the second star coin, you just want to, like, hold out till the end, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, there's a door here if you hit that P-switch, although you might want to go in the other place, too. Is this where the star coin is? Is it? I think it might be. Hit this P-switch, um, then come over here. Quickly hit the P-switch that's in here, which will make something appear over here. Yeah, it makes some, uh, uh, signs appear here. Oh, but then you need to hit this P-switch again to make more coins appear. And it'll make a door. Or I'm not really sure what that red or that orange P-switch does, but I just know that it makes that stuff appear there. Oh, this is... Uh, I... Oh, this is where the secret exit is. Um, I guess I have to go through this level twice anyway. Or this is actually where... Not the secret exit, but... You just want to hop all the way. Uh, if you can hop, hop, hop... Oh, okay, well, if you can make up to the top there, you saw there was a door up there. That's actually where the secret exit is, but I need to get the regular exit anyway, and also I need to go back for the second star coin, which I know where it is. I just sort of forgot about it. I know where it is now that I've seen the place. So yeah. <laughs> I have to go back for two things, so next time I'll be going to get the getting the secret exit. So actually, instead of me just walking back there, because that level's sort of auto-scrolling-ish, and it's kind of tedious to go back to, I'll just cut back to the place where the second star coin is. It's in that room with the moving uh, platforms, with the coins. I'll just uh, actually every room is kind of like that, but I'll just cut back to where it is. It's a recognizable room that we've seen before. Okay, it's in this room here. You want to go hit the sweep, hit the P switch again, which will make those coins turn into blocks down there. Then you want to go all the way over here. I think this is where the, where it is. I don't really see where else it could be. Oh, I made it in. I thought I was going to fall. And yes, that is a bottomless pit if you fall. Which means you will die. Oh, this is where it is. Yes, this is... I remember this. You want to hit the P-switch and run with these blocks, jumping over the booze. Make sure you keep the P-switch on and keep it in a timely manner. Then the blocks will turn into... In, or the coins will turn into blocks. And then you'll be able to hop up there. Well, they were blocks to begin with, but they'll stop moving, and then you won't have to chase them anymore, and then you can get up there, so yes. Now to try and get the secret exit again. I'm pretty sure you can try multiple times going up on that thing, uh, that, that conveyor lift thing. You just fall back down. As long as you don't uh, collect too many of the coins on that lift, you should be fine. So yeah, you just want to take the route I took before. Going over here, hitting that P-switch. Then hitting this one. Then that makes signs appear. I don't really know what it does. Like I said before, maybe it just makes this wall open. Or no, this does. So maybe it makes actual coins appear there. I don't know. Maybe it was like solid blocks before. Like solid blocks that, like if you hit a question mark block and then it turns into a solid block. Or a brick, or a brick block with a coin. You want to make sure you jump, 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 jump. And... I got it. There we go. That can be actually kind of hard to do if you're, like, trying to do it for your first time or something. But if you just keep a steady pace and stuff, it shouldn't be that all that hard to do. This room, you want to hurry on through. Just hurry, scurry until you get over here. Then wall jump. Wall jump, and there's the third star coin. And through this door is the secret exit. Because, yes, all ghost houses in this game have a secret exit, I think. 
Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure all the ghost houses in this game have a secret exit. The two that we've seen so far do. Or, like, the ghost ship, and that was a pretty cool jump. I didn't even mean to land on the spring. I was actually trying to do, like, a triple jump by, like, just landing on the platform over it, but I guess that works. So there we go. Now the... Well, maybe this isn't the one that most people consider the most confusing, or maybe it is. I don't know. But anyway, it leads us down here to the secret level of Frosted Glacier, which is actually in the same level theme as the rest of the world. Like, it's actually still ice, unlike World 1, where the, th where the theme of the secret level was water. World 2, it was ice. But in this one, it's an ice world with an ice-themed secret level. I didn't mean to show this off, but I guess it's another combination of enemies that you could get for here. Or Kooligans, I guess. Let me just get another star, which I'm just going to throw away. I didn't actually mean to go in here. Because I already showed off one combination of the Kooligans. I just wanted to show off fighting them once. And we make it to the castle. Oh, I guess I don't... Never mind. I guess I don't have an item to throw away, but it doesn't matter. It might be useful on an Abbott level or something. So we get here Wendy's Shifting Castle. And as you can see, there's those shifting platforms like this, kind of in the title of the thing. So yeah. What's the power for this level? Oh, it's Nice Flower, obviously, because Dry Bones. Dry Bones have a very much weakness to, f to ice for some reason. Maybe that's why Mario couldn't kill him off until this game, or New Super Mario Bros. Wii, actually. Because you never had an ice flower until this game. Well, you did in Galaxy, but none of the none of the levels that the ice flower were in, there were also dry bones. So yeah. And this level here tries to trick or the star corner right here tries to uh, tries to trick you by hiding under the thwomp, but it doesn't do a very good job, if you ask me. <laughs> so. If it looks like I'm more skilled at this game, or like making really daring jumps, it's probably because I've had a lot of experience with, experience with this game. And I say that right as I almost die too. Perfect. <laughs> now you won't believe me. Although, judging by my playing in the last part, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't believe me, because I really did suck in that last part. <laughs> like, did you see how much I was dying? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the third star, or the second star coin, actually. What am I saying? Oh, yes, these are also thwimps. I should explain that. They return from Mario World. Uh, they're enemies. They're sort of like thwomps. They're mini versions of thwomps, I guess you could say. Oop, duck there. There's a coin there and a pipe here. This is where the second star coin is. And this is actually a room filled with thwomps, but as long as you avoid all the purple platforms here, or blue, whatever you want to call it, you should be safe. Also, I have a hit to take, so it's not like I can't. Or it's not like I'm totally vulnerable. You just want to wait till they all shift like that. And there is a star coin. And back we go. Oh, almost got hit there. <laughs> just follow the thwomp. Or never mind. Just tank the hit. Tank the hit. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be kind of tricky to do, but it doesn't matter if you take a hit. Especially if you have a power-up like I did. Plus, I think there's a power-up in one of these. Probably this one, because it's in the middle. And Nintendo likes symmetry, usually. <laughs> Actually, I think that pipe down there is where, this, where the third star coin is. Oh, nope. I need to get down there. This is the one time I actually want to fall down places. <laughs> the reason I jumped there, too, was because I think if you would just, like, slide down there and you wouldn't actually... If you let the platform just carry you, you would just, like, slide down and you wouldn't actually, um... Like, just fall down normally. I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe that's only in 3D Mario games. I don't know. <laughs> Well, there's the coin, the third coin. Wow, two two out of three coins in this castle were hidden behind thwomps. That's great. <laughs> also, thwomp run like in the second castle in or the second fortress in Mario Three. There's like a thwomp run in that game too. But like most castles, there is a power up at the end, and now we can go fight um, Wendy. Yes, the only girl Koopaling. So that's kind of weird. I guess, I don't know, also she has rings on her castle, because her main mechanic is actually rings. The very accurate cannon. Well, we have the very accurate cannon. She has the rings that she throws at you, and the very awesome background with snow falling, too. I just love it so much. Also a heart-shaped window. <laughs> just little, little details with bows up there, you know, because she's Wendy, she has bows. I don't know, well, she's... I don't know. <laughs> In the Mario 3 uh, show, she's like shown to be like a really 
I don't know, like, like really girly, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. You just want to fight her like this. You could basically just stay in one spot if you really wanted to. Um, but her rings, if she shoots them, will bounce all over the place. So you want to make sure you avoid those. And there we go. She is finished. Also, she has ice skates. So tiny attention to detail is still awesome. <laughs> And there we go, Wendy is finished. Also, there was, like, hearts etched into the back of the ship there. <laughs> and a shadow under the ship? I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm gushing over the graphics so much. Also, I should, probably should have done the secret level first, but... Eh. I don't know. We can do the secret level now. It doesn't really matter all that much. I guess I probably should have done it before I did the castle, just for organization's sake, but I don't really care. Uh, so I will save, just in case. Well, I probably shouldn't save, just in case, but... Now we can go to the secret level, which was on the tiny, like, island thing over here, and it is ice-themed still. It's on, like, a wooden block floating. Flipperous Lake. Frosted Glacier Flipperous. And yes, that's what those things are called. This is a Flipperous. It's actually a new enemy to New Super Mario Bros. to you, I think. It's sort of like a, a seal-type enemy. Also, these are, like, I think they're called Patooies, or maybe they're, like, air piranha plants. I don't know. They're, they're a member of the piranha plant family. Maybe the ones that are standing are called Patooies. I know there's an enemy like that called Patooies or something. But yes, Flippers is. They can bounce these blo these boxes up with their own weight. Also, you can too. And if you jump while it's rising up, you'll get some extra height like that. Um, also, the Flippers is throw snowballs that can actually... It makes sense. They can Snowballs can actually be defeated by fire. Or get thrown away. Or get melted by fire, I guess. But not really thrown away. That doesn't really make any sense. Oh, also the projection on where the flippers is going to throw the snowball can actually be kind of weird, if you ask me. Ooh. I'm just glad I didn't take a hit, <laughs> because the second star coin is up here. Really close to each other, I know, but... Oh god, the background. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so... so good. The background, the northern lights, or I don't know what they'd be called in this situation. Maybe like the... The frosted glacier lights. I don't know. <laughs> no! Ugh. How did that happen? Uh. Okay, here we are back over here. Now I have an ice flower so I can freeze the flipper si or flipper sis, flipper si? I don't know. <laughs> then just ground pound and they should be taken care of Hopefully without taking a hit this time. You can't pick them up because I guess they're one of those bigger type enemies. I don't know. But yes, now we will... Go on to the third star coin, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This level actually isn't all that interesting, although the flippers mechanic is actually kind of cool. It's just really annoying at times and actually kind of random, too. Because, as you can see, or, I don't know, as you just saw from the rest of the level, this, the mechanic's actually pretty random. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's still pretty cool. The third star coin is actually kind of cryptic. You have to go up here, bounce... Use the weight or the momentum of the boxes there that are floating in the water. And the boxes up here for you. How nice. They're like steps down to the bottom. I don't know. Oh, no. I don't care about getting to the top of the flag. We'll just finish the level. <laughs> and with that, we have finished all of Frosted Glacier. And that is pretty good. So awesome. Now we should get a notice saying that we completed 100% Frosted Glacier, and oh, it makes a track appear. I believe this actually goes to World 6, but we're not going to go there yet because, you know, it's World 6 and we still have World 5 to do. Frosted Glacier was World 4, and yet we got all the Star Cards in World 4, Frosted Glacier. That's got to mean something good, definitely. So there's one more thing I want to do in this episode, which is go look at, uh, go just go like to the first level of the fifth world. I think that's this way, isn't it? It's like the main way to go. Oh shoot, there's something that I forgot about in this thing, which actually, we, we have some time left, so we can do it now. It's sort of like a forced level, like you won't actually know it's here. But, oh no, it's Bowser's airship, and that doesn't mean anything good. Well, it's gotta mean something bad, I guess. Would be the better grammar way to say that. And he picks us up on our ship, and we have the mighty cannon ship level. Surprise, there's an airship level. Blah. <laughs> But this actually is part of World 5, so maybe I should have saved it for the next part, but I don't really care. If I was just going through the through the game normally, I probably wouldn't have known that this was there, and I don't think I did. Well, actually, I 
the first time I actually played this game, I knew that I knew the whole game before because I was what I saw other let's plays on it before. But that's, that's beside the point. Also, this level is the is the is where a really annoying mission takes place for the challenges thing. So yeah, it's like you have to like bounce on the cannibals. I think it's part of the one up thing. You have to bounce on the cannibals and get one ups, and yeah, it's pretty annoying. <laughs> Also, Red Ring, I'm going to try to get you, because I want to power up four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't really know how much time I had left, because I have the volume all the way turned down, so there's not echo, but you could probably heard it, and I'll probably hear it in editing, so it probably wasn't that much time left, because I could feel it running out of time. I could just feel it in my bones or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's the second star coin right there, too, because... That's where it is. Now we go on to the second part, where there is more cannon ship. Oh, this part is underwater. Which doesn't really make any sense, considering we just got out of a... Oh, shoot. We just got out of an ice water... Or an ice world, and yes, we have homing torpedo teds now. Also mechanical uh, cheap cheeps, I guess. They just act like regular normal cheap cheeps, I think. Except they're, they look mechanical, but yeah. <laughs> oh, these will home on, in on you like that. Also... The more attention to detail when they explode on you or explode near you. There's like the red glow on near you, which is so cool. Like I said, and on the blocks, ugh. Look at like the wavy background because it's water and you can see the sky out there. I don't know, it just looks so cool. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm a sucker for good design, for good looks in games, I guess. Ooh, that almost ended badly for me, but then it ended badly for the fish, which I am not at all sour about. I don't know. But when we go in this pipe, we will have a surprise boss with Bowser Jr. and his underwater uh, happy machine, I guess. I don't know. But to defeat this boss, we have to use a mechanic that we actually learned in this level. Homing Torpedo Teds, and it's kind of obvious, too. You just have to lead the to Homing Torpedo Teds back to Bowser Jr. Oh, jeez. He's send out more than one at a time, too, but there we go, first hit. Once you hit him, all the Torpedo Teds that are on screen will disappear. And then Torpedo Teds like this, he'll summon them, and they will come out like that. You can freeze it, I guess, if you want, but it won't do anything like I said before. Also, look at out the window, there's, like, grates, and most people... I've heard people say that, like, why isn't the water flowing out that window? Because it's obviously grated, but you could see that there's, a there's like, a glass window in there, too. Oh, shoot. Oh, the little happy machine smiling because he hit me. Crumble, crumble. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get hit. You're screwed. <laughs> yeah, but you can see, like, the glass plating in, in here. Just look at, like, right there. I don't know. And right here, you can see, like, the outlines. I don't know. On the second hit, he'll make the, the torpedo tests that he summons go vertically instead of horizontally. And after the third hit, he'll be done, so he won't have any more, any more torpedo tests to summon. Did I just say bullet bills last time? Probably, because they're just like underwater bullet bills. And there we go, he is done. Although Bowser Jr. and any Mario villain is really never done, I guess. <laughs> Unless it's just multiple reincarnations of them or something. And the water drains out somehow. I don't know how a wooden airship is carrying this, money, this much water in it, but you know. I'm not going to question it because it doesn't make sense in the slightest. And oh geez, the Bowser hand that punched Mario at the beginning and slid Peach away from the punching, then captured Peach, kind of, or captured the castle and then flung us. It's retreating. No, Bowser, get back here. <laughs> I will have my revenge. Yet. <laughs> also, you can skip this level if you want by taking any of the other shortcuts, like in World 1 or World 4, I think that is. But obviously I'm doing all the levels, so I had to do this, which actually counts part of Soda Jungle, which is the next world, by the way. Yes, the next world is Soda Jungle. And we get the little introduction here, even though we probably should have had it before, because that actually counts as part of the level. We have the mid... the uh, boom boom there with the fortress. There's a spooky forest area. Hmm. And then we have the castle there, which is... Uh, I, I think that's Iggy. No, Iggy is blue. I, I don't really know who that is. Anyway, in the next part of New Super Mario Bros. U, we'll be starting on Soda Jungle with Jungle of the Giants. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.